गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग ओके नाउ टुडे विल कंप्लीट द पार्ट ऑफ द ग्लूटियल रीजन ओके एंड ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज ऑन म्यूट योर माइक एंड इफ देयर इज एनी क्वेश्चन और व्हेन एवर वी विल डू डिस्कशन और आई विल आस्क द क्वेश्चन दैट टाइम ऑन म्यूट योर माइक and uh, answer the question okay uh, anybody yes, okay yes ma'am yes yes ma'am okay we'll wait for 1 2 minute uh some of uh, some of the students are adding up still 2 minute are there Uh, till that period uh, can you see the powerpoint those who are here please unmute your mic and answer the question can yes, you see the powerpoint yes ma'am yes, 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 okay uh, can you see the cursor that i am moving can you see it yes ma'am okay yes, ma okay. okay we'll wait for few minute one minute is there and then we'll start okay okay now we'll start okay now in the previous class we have finished up to the communication of the gluteal region today we'll do the the remaining part uh, structures of the gluteal region in detail uh, first we'll start with uh, the nerve the thickest nerve in the gluteal region is known as what is the name of the thickest nerve in the gluteal region that you have seen in the pre uh, studied in the previous class sciatic nerve sciatic nerve okay sciatic nerve now this plexus that you see in this picture in this powerpoint this plexus is known as sacral plexus sacral plexus lies in the pelvis in the pelvis in the posterior wall of the pelvis and this plexus is formed by ventral rami of ventral rami of spinal nerve we have studied in the general anatomy spinal nerve is formed by the union of two root Uh, what are the two root one is ventral root another is which root dorsal root dorsal root. the dorsal root and ventral root unite to form a spinal nerve and each spinal nerve of our body divides into a small branch known as dorsal ramus this is small small are the dorsal ramus and the big branch this big branch what are this big branch this big branch are known as the ventral ramus you know this fundamental yes what are the two main branch of the spinal nerve any spinal nerve one is dorsal ramus please unmute your mic dorsal ramus small branch um, is dorsal ramus and the ventral big branch ramus is known as ventral ramus now re always remember this the lumbar plexus which give branches nerve to the lower limb and the brachial plexus which give branches to the upper limb they both are derived from the integrating integrating or the union of ventral ramus of several spinal nerve Do, no dorsal ramus ventral ramus of several spinal nerve remember this this is the fundamental this is the concept so the what is the root value of the sciatic nerve the root value of the sciatic nerve are ventral ramus of l4 l5 s1 s2 and s3 spinal nerve from the sacral plexus from which plexus sacral plexus so origin of the sciatic nerve is from the sacral plexus the root value of the sciatic nerve are the ventral ramus ramus means singular so we should say ventral rami of l4 l5 in this picture you can see l4 in white color l4 l5 s1 s2 s3 spinal nerve spinal nerve so that is the root value of root value of sciatic nerve it forms in the posterior wall of the pelvis in front of the muscle known as piriformis in front of the origin of the muscle known as piriformis 
then from the pelvis it enters into the gluteal region in the gluteal region you can see in this picture through the foramen which foramen greater sciatic foramen below the piriformis below the piriformis then it runs downward and laterally or you can simply say downward you can see in this picture it runs downward in another word you can say inferiorly deep to which muscle this which is muscle? gluteus maximus what is the name of this muscle gluteal maximus. maximus yes so it runs downward deep to the gluteus maximus between the this is the ischial tuberosity this bone is greater to canter are you following what yes, is the name is the, what is this bony projection this is can you see the pointer this is what is this greater to canter yes and what is this Ischial tuberosity. Very good. So the sciatic nerve enter into the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen. It lies below the piriformis. What is the co? What are the cores? We'll today we'll only study the cores of sciatic nerve in the gluteal region. Remaining part of the sciatic nerve will deal in the back of thigh. So today one I will only deal with this sciatic nerve in the gluteal region. So you see this picture carefully. This is how it is placed in our body also. You will see in cadaver in later when we will join together in the dissection class. Right now you see here carefully. The sciatic nerve, again I repeat, the sciatic nerve enter into the gluteal region through the greater sciatic foramen. You can see in the picture below the piriformis. Then it runs inferiorly deep to gluteal maximus. Between the ischial tuberosity and greater to canter, on the surface of, on the surface of this muscle, this is small muscles, which is adhered to the tendon of obturator internus, it is a part of a twin muscle, so this is known as superior gemellus. On the surface of superior gemellus, tendon of obturator internus, inferior gemellus, this is inferior gemellus, and the quadrilateral separate muscle, this is the quadratus femoris and the origin of hamstring part this big is the origin of hamstring part of adductor magnus adductor magnus and it enters into the thigh this part is back of thigh okay so it enters into the back of thigh deep to lower border of this is the lower border of gluteus maximus are you following yes yes, ma yes. now can you say uh, through which foramen the sciatic nerve enters into the gluteal region? Greater sciatic foramen. Greater, greater sciatic. sciatic. This is greater sciatic foramen. Below the? Piriformis. Piriformis, yes. And what is the course? Is it going upward or downward? Downward. Down. Down. Downward. Downward. On the surface of which, which muscles? Can you in elaborate the name of the muscle in order? Superior to inferior, what are the muscles on Superior which it rests? Gemellus. Superior gemellus. Superior what tendon is it? Tendon of operator internus. Inferior gemellus. 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 Inferior what is this? Back of thigh. Back of thigh. Yes. Back of thigh. So it enters into back of thigh deep to, you can see in the picture, very easy. Anatomy is easy subject. Okay. It enters into back of thigh deep to, what is this? Lower. 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 Gluteal. 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 Maximus. Maximus. There is no need to mug up. Very easy. If you, if you see carefully, this big muscle in the gluteal region is known as? Maximus. Are you following? Yes, ma'am. So this yes, much yes, part yes. is, uh, we'll deal with the sciatic nerve. But the remaining part of the sciatic nerve will deal in the back of thigh. Okay. Now here you can see the gluteal region, if you divide the gluteal region into four quadrants. Okay. Let us divide by one imaginary vertical line and another imaginary horizontal line into four quadrants. This part of the sciatic region is known as superior lateral quadrant. Superiorly, it is superiorly present and laterally present. It is known as superior lateral quadrant or upper outer quadrant. This part of the gluteal region is known as, tell me anybody? 
if this is superior lateral what would be this superior medial very good similarly this part of the gluteal region is inferior lateral inferior yes lateral. inferior lateral or lower outer and this part of gluteal region is inferior inferior medial or lower medial yes so if you give intramuscular injection intramuscular injection which site is suitable site uh, i elaborate there are four sites superior lateral superior medial inferior medial inferior lateral which site is the most safe site use your superior medial no there is a no superior medial also slightly superior lateral superior lateral very good so when we give intramuscular injection in the gluteal region most of the time if you have noticed the intramuscular injection is either given to the deltoid muscle of the upper limb or the gluteal muscle of the lower limb so in the gluteal muscle in the gluteal region it is given in the superolateral quadrant you can see in this picture site for the intramuscular injection is at the superolateral quadrant which is also known as upper lateral quadrant it is a safe site for the injection because it will not penetrate neurovascular bundle related to the gluteal region the most important neurovascular bundle especially nerve related in the gluteal region lying in the gluteal region is sciatic nerve so if the injection is given there is a high chance of penetration of the sciatic nerve along with the other blood vessels in the upper and medial quadrant also some small neurovascular bundle there superior uh, gluteal vessels and nerve similarly lower lateral quadrant is also very difficult because there are presence of the joints and the ligaments and these trochanters in addition to it they are slightly close to the in sciatic nerve so this superior lateral quadrant is the safest site for the intramuscular injection so this is the clinical relevant associated with the sciatic nerve in the gluteal region are you following confident yes, yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, yes ma'am whenever i'll ask the question please unmute your mic all of you and answer it okay so that it will be like a classroom so it will be like a interaction so you will also feel happy and i'll also feel that i am also teaching if i am done any wrong or mistake you can also rectify tell me we'll improve together we'll learn together okay yes ma'am okay this is also the picture showing which quadrant this is the safest site for the intramuscular injection this is the superior lateral quadrant or upper outer quadrant or upper lateral quadrant this is upper medial quadrant this is lower medial and lower lateral quadrant so you should remember the safest site for the intramuscular region injection for the gluteal region in the gluteal region is upper lateral quadrant or superior lateral quadrant quadrant now what are the applied importance associated with the uh, sciatic nerve there is a high chance of the injury of the sciatic nerve the major causes are especially penetrating wound it is certain traumatic wound injury or the uh, fracture or of the dislocation of the hip joint traumatic is accidental injury or accident then there is a high chance of the dislocation of the this head of the femur posteriorly if there is dislocation of the head of the femur posteriorly there is a chance of the compression of this nerve what is the name of this nerve sciatic nerve against which bone this femur so if there is compression of the sciatic nerve by during the fracture of the or the dislocation of the hip joint there is a high chance of the paralysis of the all the muscle of the knee below the all the muscles of the leg lower limb below the knee joint and when the all these muscles are paralyzed all the muscle anterior compartment muscle lateral compartment muscle posterior compartment muscle all are innervated by the branches of sciatic nerve so if these muscles are paralyzed the foot will be in the form of the plantar flexed condition you know the plantar flexion yes when you put your when you put your foot on the on the surface of your toe that is plantar flexion when you put your foot on the surface of the heel is known as the dorsiflexion you you know this dorsiflexion and plantar flexion yes anybody have queries yes, dorsiflexion yes. and plantar flexion all of no. you know the plantar flexion yes no. yes or no uh, answer the question please yes ma'am yes yes so yes. when the, all the muscles of the leg below the knee are paralyzed then there is a plantar flexed condition of the 
foot that plantar flexed condition of the foot is known as foot drop in addition to it there is all cutaneous sensation below the knee are lost except the area supplied by saphenous nerve because the saphenous nerve is the branch of femoral nerve so except those area the remaining all area of the leg are innervated by cutaneous innervation means to the skin are innervated by the cutaneous branches of the sciatic nerve uh, it's two important branches tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve now sometimes what happen when you are intense uh, sitting for a long period of time uh, or when you are doing the flexion of the knee joint for long period of time and behind the knee joint there is a fossa known as popliteal fossa and and there is a relation of the sciatic nerve in the popliteal fossa especially two branch of the sciatic nerve that is tibial and common peroneal nerve so if there is compression of the sciatic nerve against the femur during long sitting position there is a slipping foot okay and if there is compression of the sciatic nerve by the prolapse of the intervertebral discs especially in the intervertebral foramina then there will be continuous radiating pain cutaneous pain in the area of the skin innervated by the sciatic nerve and its terminal branches that shooting radiating pain in the area of the skin supplied by the sciatic nerve and its terminal branches is known as sciatic so what are the applied importance associated with the sciatic nerve number 1 is which injection subcutaneous or intramuscular 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 yeah. another applied importance is injury to the sciatic nerve by the injury of the hip joint another is if there is injury to the sciatic nerve which condition of foot is from from foot drop foot drop foot drop third important applied importance associated with the sciatic nerve is sciatica what is sciatica sciatica is a shooting radiating pain along the cutaneous distribution of the sciatic nerve and its terminal branches the common cause of the sciatica is most of the time is prolapse intervertebral disc prolapse intervertebral disc compresses the root of the sciatic nerve along the intervertebral foramina so it yield into the pain condition known as sciatica now in addition to the sciatic nerve in the gluteal region there is a presence of certain very important two collateral anastomoses the two collateral anastomoses is known as trochanteric anastomoses and cruciate anastomoses for before that i will elaborate some bony part this is the femur this is the head of the femur which is articulating in with the acetabulum to form the hip joint this part of the femur is known as neck this part of the femur is known as the greater trochanter this is the lesser trochanter posteriorly this is the intertrochantic crest anteriorly intertrochantic line and this part of the femur is known as the shaft of femur shaft of femur so now the anastomosis lying on the gluteal region there are two important trochanteric and cruciate anastomosis the trochanteric anastomosis lies in the fossa which is related in the greater trochanter here on the medial aspect of the greater trochanter there is a presence of a depression round depression that depression is known as trochanteric fossa so the trochanteric anastomosis lies in the trochanteric fossa and it is formed by the four branches number 1 can you see which artery is this can you say which artery is this superior gluteal superior which which gluteal artery is this inferior very good inferior gluteal artery which artery is this can anybody say you have studied in the front of thigh what is the artery of the thigh deep artery of thigh femoral artery femoral artery okay so the femoral artery has a big branch profunda femoris profunda femoris profunda means big profunda femoris and it has two branches one going from the medial aspect one growing from the lateral aspect the branch going from the medial aspect is medial circumflex femoral artery it is not shown in this picture it is present anteriorly the branch going from the lateral aspect is what is the name lateral, lateral, lateral circumflex femoral. circumflex circumflex means winding lateral circumflex femoral or you can say lateral femoral circumflex artery okay and these artery provide a small minor branches are in the region of the trochanteric fossa forming the collateral anastomosis known as a 
trochanteric conastomosis so the branches involved in the formation of the trochanteric conastomosis are inferior branch of the superior gluteal artery inferior branch of the superior gluteal artery branch from the inferior gluteal artery and the ascending because it has to go up so you you think carefully no need to mug up very easy the branch has to go up to the greater trochanter so ascending branches of medial circumflex and lateral circumflex femoral artery all these branches anastomose with each other and form a collateral anastomosis on the trochanteric fossa that's why it is given name trochanteric anastomosis whenever there is a blockage of the femoral artery or profunda femoris artery then to supply the nutrient supply to the gluteal region and to the front of thigh and back of thigh this collateral anastomosis become active otherwise normally the femoral artery and profunda femoris supply the nutrient supply to the thigh confident the another anastomosis which is lie on the back of the femur at the level of this trochanter this is small trochanter is known as lesser trochanter is known as cruciate anastomosis the term denotes cruciate it is not properly shown in this picture the term is cruciate means like a cruciform crucified plus okay so it is formed by again by four arteries the branch from the inferior gluteal artery then the transverse branch from the lateral circumflex femoral artery and the transverse branch from the medial circumflex femoral artery and a ascending branch ascending branch from the first perforating artery anybody first perforating artery is the branch of profunda femoris femoris you know that yes 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 ma'am yes so okay. the cruciate anastomosis is formed by uh, how many arteries branches how many four first you can see the picture carefully very easy one artery comes from up the branch from inferior gluteal then the two artery in the middle transverse branch of the medial circumflex and lateral circumflex and the th fourth artery is from the branch from the first perforating artery all these artery anastomoses at the back of the femur at the level of the lesser trochanter in the form of the plus okay so that's why it is known as cruciate anastomosis the role and the function of cruciate and trochanteric anastomosis is same it act actively whenever there is a blockage of the main arteries especially femoral artery and profunda femoris artery now beside this there are several other muscles small small muscle lying in the gluteal region the most important key muscle which subdivides the neurovascular bundle of the gluteal region into two part above it and below it the name of the muscle is piriformis the piriformis ori originate from the pelvic surface of medial three pieces of sacrum greater sciatic notch sacroiliac joint and its capsule sacrotuberous ligament and posterior inferior like spine you can see in this picture my dear student this is a hip bone this is a sacrum this is the ventral aspect of the sac uh, hip bone this is the iliac fossa okay first of all you know the name of the bone iliac fossa this is anterior superior iliac spine this is posterior superior iliac spine this joint is sacroiliac joint and uh, this is pelvic inlet deep to it is this is the pelvis okay and the surface of the sacrum uh, facing towards the pelvis this surface is known as pelvic surface of the sacrum or anterior surface of the sacrum okay and uh, the piriformis you can see this is piriformis the piriformis arises from the pelvic surface of the sacrum medial three pieces medial three pieces means from pelvic surface of s2 s3 and s4 sacral vertebra okay is some of the slips also arise from sacroiliac joint and the capsule okay and some of the slips also arises from which notch is this what is the name of this big notch all of you sciatic yes. notch yes some of the slips also arise from greater sciatic notch so this hole is the origin of the piriformis then it enters into the gluteal region through which foramina greater sciatic foramina 
then it terminates see it enters into the gluteal region through greater sciatic foramina and finally insert into the greater trochanter this is greater trochanter greater trochanter have several surfaces and parts where does it insert it insert into the tip of the greater trochanter tip which is also known as apex of greater trochanter and what is the action action always takes place from insertion to origin so it will pull the greater trochanter or the femur towards the origin means the femur will rotate laterally will rotate laterally when it rotate laterally the femur also goes slightly upward and outward that is known as abduction okay the most importantly it produce the lateral rotation so what is the action of the piriformis lateral rotation of the thigh and abductor of the thigh what is the innervation of the piriformis it is innervated by in this the branch from the sacral plexus in front of this piriformis the sacral plexus lies the branch from the sacral plexus which branch from the s1 and s2 so this is piriformis the another muscle that lies in the gluteal is small muscle there are two twin muscle one is superior gemellus similarly another one is inferior gemellus gemellus is singular gemelli means plural the origin of the superior gemellus is from see here this is piriformis now this is ischial spine my dear student this is the lesser sciatic notch so you can easily see very easy to remember the superior gemellus arises from the ischial spine superior gemellus arises from the ischial spine and which notch which notch is this lesser sciatic yes. notch and where does it insert it the tendon of superior gemellus blend with the tendon of obturator internus blend with the tendon of obturator internus and insert into which trochanter again you can see in the picture which trochanter is it going greater trochanter greater trochanter but where does it insert on the greater trochanter on the medial aspect of greater trochanter okay so that is the, this is the insertion so here also this is insertion action takes place from insertion to origin so what is the action it will pull the femur towards the origin means it is also a slight lateral rotator of the femur on which joint what is the name of this joint hip joint yes or the lateral rotation of the thigh on the which joint hip joint that is action and the knob supply is by knob to obturator internus now another important muscle is small twin muscle is inferior gemellus inferior gemellus you can see this is superior gemellus this is inferior gemellus so it is very easy inferior gemellus arises from which tuberosity does it arise from ischial spine no it arises from which tuberosity you can see in the picture which tuberosity is this ischial tuberosity it arises from ischial tuberosity and part of it also arises from lesser sciatic notch and these muscles also blend with the tendon of obturator internus and via the tendon of obturator internus it insert into the medial surface of greater trochanter but the innervation of the inferior gemellus is by knob to because it is close to quadratus femoris so it is innervated by knob to quadratus femoris and the action is similar to the piriformis and superior gemellus what is action lateral rotation of thigh and slight abductor of the thigh on which joint hip joint then another important muscle is obturator internus the obturator internus it as the name indicate it arises from the pelvic surface of the obturator membrane here you can see this is the obturator internus this is the pelvic cavity okay so the surfaces of the bone facing towards the pelvic cavity is known as pelvic surface remember this very easy so obturator internus arises from the pelvic surface of the obturator membrane pelvic surface of the this is ischium pelvic surface of the ischium okay pelvic surface of the obturator membrane pelvic surface of the ischium and pelvic surface of which tuberosity here ischial tuberosity okay and which rama is here pelvic surface of ischio here you can see ischio pubic rama this whole is the origin then it enters into the gluteal region through which foramina lesser sciatic foramina you can see lesser sciatic foramina okay lesser sciatic foramina and the tendon of obturator internus blend with superior gemellus and inferior gemellus and finally insert into greater trochanter on its medial surface it is innervated by knob to obturator internus and it also act as a lateral rotator of the thigh 
So the small muscle in the gluteal region, what are the small muscle? Number one, piriformis, number two, superior gemellus, number three, obturator internus, number four, inferior gemellus. All main function is action R. What is the main action? What is the main action? Can anybody say? Lateral yes, lateral rotation, lateral rotation, lateral rotation, rotation, rotation of the thigh on which joint? Knee joint or hip joint? Hip, hip joint. joint. Hip joint. Oh, yes, hip, hip, hip joint. crosses which joint? Hip joint. So the action always hip takes joint. place on the joint crossed by the muscle. And action takes place from origin to insertion or insertion to origin most of the time? Insertion uh, to the origin. Insertion, insertion to origin. To origin. You study and if you have any query, re queries relating to the action, you can, you are, you are feel, Feel free to ask me and after class also feel free to ask me in the chat. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma another muscle is okay, small muscle is quadratus femoris. As the name indicate, it is quadrilateral separate muscle. You can see very easy. Yes. See here. This is the quadratus femoris. So it arises from the this is ischial tuberosity. This is the greater trochanter. So this is the origin. This part is the insertion. The origin is from the ischial tuberosity, very easy, outer border of ischial tuberosity, see, quadrilateral insipid, and it insert into the quadrate tubercle, presenting in the intertrochanteric crest. So insertion is in the greater trochanter, origin is in the ischial tuberosity. So what is the action insertion to origin? It also pull the femur towards the origin means, which rotation? You can easily imagine, if, uh, if, if you were here, I would have shown you the action uh, in the bone, uh, but still you read it and uh, if you have bone available in your home, if your own bone, uh, then you try it uh, and then uh, try to see the video also. Uh, if you have any queries, then even you ask, okay, this is very important. There is no need to mock up anatomy. Anatomy is very easy subject. You can just use your concept and you can easily remember, okay? So the, what is the action? Action is same, lateral rotation action. of the thigh in the which joint? Hip joint. And it is innervated by which nerve? The name of the nerve is nerve to quadratus femoris. So what is the name of this muscle? Again, a summary. What is the name of this muscle? All of you, unmute your mic and answer Hi. the question. Hi. 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 What is the name of this muscle? Superior gemellus. What is the name of this muscle? Yes. What is the name of this muscle? Yes, all this is small muscle of the gluteal region. What is the main action of all the of them? I on which joint these muscle crosses? Lateral rotation of the thigh on the Keep doing. Keep doing. Now, when you cut this quadratus femoris, deep to the quadratus femoris, you will see one other muscle, the name of the muscle. One muscle lie on the pelvic, uh, arises from the pelvic surface of the uh, obturator foramen. So it is known as internus. Similarly, another muscle arises from outer surface of the obturator foramen known as external. So the deep to this quadratus femoris, there is a muscle known as obturator external. Obturator externus arises from outer surface of obturator membrane, outer surface and margin of obturator foramen. And it insert into the fossa. See, this is the outer surface of the obturator membrane, outer, outer surface of the margin of obturator foramen. And where does it insert? It insert into the fossa. What is the name of the fossa on the medial aspect of the greater trochanter? Trochanteric. So insertion is here, origin is here. It also produces the similar function like other small muscle, lateral rotation of the thigh. However, the innervation of this muscle is by obturator nerve. Obturator nerve is the nerve of medial compartment of thigh. Okay? Confident? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Are you confident? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Now, another is, small muscle is present on the lateral aspect of the gluteal region that is known as tensor fascia lateral. See the name Kensfuri, tensor, it tenses the fascia lata. Which fascia? 
the deep fascia of the thigh is known as fascia lata you have studied in the front of thigh yes so it tenses the deep fascia of the thigh is known as the tensor fascia lata what is the origin of the tensor fascia lata you can see can you see this small muscle all of you this one yes yes sir. yes this thickening of the deep fascia of the thigh on the lateral aspect of our leg uh, sorry especially thigh lateral aspect of thigh can you see this thickening of deep fascia extreme yes, thickening yes, the yes, name of this thickening extending from ilium to tibia what is the name iliotibial tract so this muscle tenses this iliotibial tract which is the part of thickening of fascia lata so the name is given tensor fascia lata very easy that is the action so what is the origin this upper part is the origin see what is the name of this conical projection of the ilium anteriorly anterior superior yes anterior superior like spine which crest is this yes which uh, bony protuberance lies here 5 cm behind the anterior superior like spine iliac tubercle iliac tubercle which leaf of the iliac crest is this outer leaf outer leaf very good outer. so the tensor fascia lata you see here carefully no need to mock up very easy tensor fascia lata arises from the outer leaf of the iliac crest extending from anterior superior like a spine to iliac tubercle or you can say in another word it arises from anterior 5 cm of outer leaf of iliac crest then where does it see seems to be attached what is this lower attachment iliotibial tract yes tibial not ilio ilio very easy tract. what is this ilium what is this tibia so what is the name of this tract iliotibial tract yeah so it insert into the iliotibial tract and it is innervated by which nerve it is innervated by superior gluteal nerve not femoral nerve and it is also another muscle this tensor fascia lata is is tense sorry it is, uh, is a mistake here action it main uh, action is tenses the as the name indicate tenses the which tract iliotibial tract Ilio thus maintains the stability of via iliotibial tract thus maintain the stability of which joint which joint lies here in our body which knees. joint knees knees, knees joint. joint very good very good and it is innervated by the branch uh, from the it is also sometimes it has dual supply so the main action very important action which most of the time we ask in the exam like identify the pin the structure this muscle you have to identify this is tensor fascia lata mentioned in action action is it tenses the iliotibial tract and maintain the stability of which joint which knee joint knee joint knee joint. joint okay Are you confident? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. yes. Now, um, us, uh, what we have finished till this point, let us uh, do interaction. Um, okay. I will pick anybody randomly. Okay. Hmm. Anjali Adhikari, switch on your video and answer the question. Anjali Adhikari, present. अंजलि अधिकारी ओके आयुष्मा वराल ओके देन अविज्ञा आचार्य यस मैम Yes, Abhika Acharya. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Can you listen to me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Now, can you tell me uh, what is the root value of the sciatic nerve? Root value of sciatic nerve. Yes. Root. Ma'am, I don't know. 
uh, you should have asked the question there. Okay. Even yes, though we are not face to face, uh, we are using this internet facility to interact and study together. Are you following? So yes, utilize sir. it with wisdom. Yes. Okay. Another uh, Pratishma Wagle. Are you there? Pratishma Wagle. Okay. Anybody who is there? Yes, ma'am. Who, who is this? Michelle P. Abraham. Okay. Can you tell the root value of the sciatic nerve? Uh, it's L4, lumbar 4, lumbar 5, yes. S1, yes. S2, S3 of the ventral ramus of the sacral plexus. Yes, you are right. But uh, I'll do little rectif rectification in your sentence. Rather, you should say or write in the exam ventral rami first. Ventral rami of yes, L4, L5, oh, S1, S2, S3, S3, the spinal nerve. Which nerve? Spinal nerve. Spinal yes. nerve. Okay, okay, okay. The next person who is, uh, we have good internet. Anybody? Uh, Janvi Vansal. Are you there? Janvi Vansal? See, those who are not answering the question and just putting the switch on and going away, it will be drawback to the student only, okay? Janvi Vansal? Yes. Not there? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Okay, now can you tell me through which foramen the uh, sciatic nerve enter into gluteal region? What is the name of this foramen here? I'm showing with the pointer. Can you see? Janvi? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Through which foramena the sciatic nerve entered into the gluteal region? Ma'am, I don't know. You haven't listened to the class? Oh, ma'am, I'm listening, but I'm not able to recall. Okay, okay. Now, can you see here which foramena lies here? There are two important foramena and the gluteal region in the ilium and ischium. Anybody? Michelle? Ma'am, I can Ma'am, it's the sciatic foramen. Yes. And lesser sciatic foramen. Okay. Foramen. All of you, I'm, I'm asking you, everybody, all of you, those who are not listening, also listen carefully. It's an interaction. And if you have queries, you ask, okay? Please feel free to ask. Now, tell me, my dear student, it enters into the sciatic nerves, enter into the gluteal region through which foramen? All of you, unmute your mic and answer the question. Greater sciatic foramen. Greater sciatic foramen. And then it passes upward or downward? Downward. downward. Below which muscle? Downward. Deep to deep muscle? Gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus. On the surface of how many muscles? Now, uh, another important question. Which is the safest site for the intramuscular injection in the gluteal region? Superior, superior lateral. lateral. Yes, yeah, superior lateral. Very good. Why? Because there are no areas of blood supply, or we can say it will prevent the damage of the most important nerve of our lower limb. What is the most important nerve? Sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve. Sciatic, not sciatic. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, what are the two important anastomosis, collateral anastomosis, lying in our gluteal region? Those who have queries, please ask. Okay, please be attentive and ask the question. It's a request and also a, a, a warning. 
Uh, now, please ask the question. Don't just uh, be in online and go run away. Okay, let us work together and improve our uh, quality of the education. Even though, even though we are not in face-to-face -face condition. Are you fine? Yes. Yes. Are you fine? Uh, yes. Uh, Ma'am. Yes. 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 Uh, Ma'am, can you uh, repeat again the uh, where is the site of safe injection? My internet yes. was weak yes. at that time. Okay, okay. What is the here? You can see there are four quadrant of the gluteal region, superior lateral. See here. Can you see now, Sally? This quadrant yes, is known as superior lateral. This quadrant is known as. Can you tell? Use your brain. You can do it. If this is superior lateral, this would be very superior good. medial. Very good. This is inferior. I am making yeah, it definitely. very easy. Whatever possibility I, I can do. If I uh, if you do not understand, ask me. Okay. This is inferior lateral. This is inferior medial. Now, by seeing this picture only, can you say which one is the safest side? You have to see here. This would be the best. Superior lateral would be here. Superior medial would be here. Inferior medial would be here. Inferior lateral would be here. Now, by seeing this, which site is the safest site for the intramuscular injection? This one, Sally. Is this right side? Okay. Sally. Uh, no, ma'am. No. 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 Is this right side? No. Is this right side? Yes, because there are no nerves. Uh, but uh, it is uh, close to nerve and there is a bone. Okay. Yes. Then is this a side come safe side? Yes. No. There is this okay. big muscle are there. What is the name of this big muscle? This is gluteus medius is cut. Above the gluteus medius, superficial to it is gluteus maximus. Yeah. So it won't damage the main important nerve of our body. What is this? Which nerve is this? Sciatic nerve. So, which is the safest site for the intramuscular injection? Superior lateral. In this picture, it is mentioned instead of superior lateral, the word is divided into two words. Superior means upper lateral, means lateral quadrant, quadrilateral separate. Yes? Confident? Hello? Say yes, Are you here? Yes. Even though you yes, study today, yes. I'll post my class uh, in the PDF format. And in addition to it, you read your books. And if you have any query, Sally, you 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 ask the raise the question uh, in the personal chat in this Teams app. Okay, I will answer it. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, you are muted. Ma'am, you are muted. Okay, now am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, wait for a minute, okay. Now the three important, is the PowerPoint visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Now, the summary of the gluteal region are the gluteal region consists of three important gluteal muscles beside small, small muscles. The three important gluteal muscles are gluteal maximus, medius, and minimus. Uh, and another important point is structure under the cover of gluteal maximus are very important. They are several structures, muscle, bones, joints, ligaments, and neurovascular bundle. Okay, the neurovascular bundle are categorized by the key muscle. Which key muscle? Pyriformis into two. Structure above it and below it. The gluteal maximus is the extensor of hip joint and help in standing up from sitting position. I assume all of you are in sitting position. So when you are standing from sitting position, the gluteal maximus helps during that period. Whereas the gluteus medius and minimus helps in the abduction of the thigh and the most important function of both of them are maintaining the horizontal level of the pelvis of unsupported side. If there is paralysis of the gluteus medius and minimus, then it is determined by Tendelenburg sign with the lurching gait of the patient. All the small muscles of the gluteal region are lateral rotator of the thigh. The thickest nerve lying in the gluteal region is sciatic nerve. You should know detail of sciatic nerve. 
the radiating pain from the compression of the sciatic nerve is known as sciatica superior lateral quadrant of gluteal region is used for intramuscular injection so these are the important summary take home message from the class of lecture class of gluteal region now beside this in your university exam or semester exam there are three pattern of the questions especially in the theory saq means short answer question mcq means multiple choice question and pbq problem based question in the problem based question problem will be given and on the basis of that problem anatomy question will be given the problem based question is not only anatomy based in that problem based question three or four de department intermingle and they ask the question so that's why today i didn't put the problem based question rather i have put the saq the important saq that is asked in semester university uh, on the basis of the, on the basis of the syllabus the, these are the question this is the enumerator the structure lying deep to it please do the homework of this question write down the answer in your uh, copy and post it or upload it in the uh, in the anatomy wall okay all of you if you have any queries on the questions you can ask me confident all of you unmute your mic yes, yes ma'am ma okay these are the important yes, SAQ. these are the saq which is always asked always most of the time asked in the m um, uh, fnt fortnightly test even though now no fnt but there will be semester exam and university okay besides this this is these are the several mcq now shall we practice mcq uh, anyone uh, all of you unmute your mic and answer this question which structure does not pass through the sciatic foramina among these four option which is the correct option anybody tendon of tendon of posterior similarly second question what is the insertion of gluteus medius among these four option which is the correct option the chondriangulum the the second second one b medius is on the anterior surface or minimus and it is